Okay, guys, next round, whoever wins this gets this table. Huh? Oh my god, really? Yes. Huh? Let's go, let's go! Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video. Today I have a very special product with me and it's all because of the festivities that's coming up. That's right, it's Chinese New Year and we have an automatic mahjong table. Now this isn't something that's very new or anything that's um, special this year. It's been around for quite a few years now, but I thought I would take you guys on an in-depth look into how it all works and my experience using it with my friends. Now, a big special thanks to Tong and Da for sending this table out to me. I'll leave all the links to the product in the description below. Now, first of all, this is an automatic mahjong table that collects, shuffles, and racks up the tiles for you in seconds. It utilizes two sets of magnetic tiles so that while one is being used, the other is being prepared for the next round. It's a fun and speedy way to get through a game of mahjong which typically takes hours. So to help me with this whole video, I had a couple of friends come over for a game of Mahjong and um, just to get their feedback and see how the table actually works in a real life setting. But amongst all the rounds of games that we've played, for one of these rounds, I had a very special surprise for them. But we'll get into that later in the video. So first of all, let's take a look at the physique and build of this table. Now this table of course is going to be larger than your usual Mahjong table. And that's because it needs the thickness to house the mechanisms inside that allows it to shuffle and rack up your tiles for you. However, it does have wheels at the bottom and it's able to fold up so you can keep it nicely tucked away. If you do decide to keep it out in the open, there is an additional add-on where you can buy a tabletop for you to conveniently convert it into a normal table. The sides of the table are made of plastic and it houses a couple of compartments including a beverage holder as well as a phone holder and a USB charging port. Now the one thing I really like about this table in terms of comfort is that it has this very nice border around the edges that allows you to comfortably rest your arms for those long hours of games. It also has a very nice green fabric laid out across the entire surface and in the middle you'll find the main control panel that controls the shuffling and racking of the tiles. So like I said at the start of the video, I want to show you guys an in-depth look into how this whole mahjong table works. I've seen a couple of clips on the internet of how people just shuffle it and it comes out and sometimes they show the inside of the table. But today I'm going to show you guys some in-depth footage uh, inside the table of how this whole thing works. So first of all, like I said, there are two sets of tiles being used in this table. And that's because while one set is being played, the other set is inside the table getting racked up and ready for the next round. So at the end of each round, you simply press a button on the console which raises it and allows you to push all the tiles into the tumbler. Now the tumbler has a nice felt bottom that allows the mahjong tiles to hit it without making too much noise and of course protect the tiles. Inside the tumbler, you'll notice a couple of fins and nooks that help to reorientate the tiles so that it faces the right side up. Once all the tiles are in the tumbler, you can simply press the button again to lower the control module and the tumbler inside will begin to spin. A series of magnetic conveyor belts then picks up the tiles facing upwards and brings it onto a sorting rack. At the sorting rack, a sensor counts up to two tiles before moving it to the side and does so until it hits the right amount of tiles for that rack. Once the rack is fully formed, it sits there waiting for the next round and after pushing the surface tiles back down into the tumbler, the platform is lowered and the ready set of tiles are pushed into it, raising it up to the surface. One of the very main concerns about this table is safety. There is a lot of moving parts on the table surface that some of you might not be used to and one of the things that happened during the gameplay was that a couple of chips fell into the platform while it was being lowered and it kind of jammed up the system a bit. <laughs> The best thing to do is to quickly turn off the main switch and then figure out how to get out the chips that were stuck inside. You should however not stick your hands inside the platform while it's moving, that's going to be really dangerous and could cause some injury. Now like I said in the beginning, I had a couple of friends come over so that we can have a real life test and I'm really glad I did that because there are a couple of issues that I found out as well as some pros that I think they really enjoyed with this table. But let's take a look at some of the minor issues that I found with this table. Now, first of all, of course, this being an automatic mahjong table, there isn't a need to shuffle the tiles as you would traditionally do. Uh, and that also is made difficult with the center module being in the middle. However, this is still possible. However, it is a bit cumbersome to shuffle on top of the control module. And also the platforms have a bit of a bump, so it's not exactly a fully smooth table. 
Some of the feedback that I got from my friends is that they miss the sensation of mixing these tiles. It's a very big part of the game and uh, some of you might not like it. Um, but at the same time, it is an option still for this table, but just not as comfortable. Another feedback that I got from my friends was that the game felt a bit rushed because the tiles were just racked up too quickly and they felt the need to get on with the game very soon and didn't leave much time to chat or do other things. Now this of course suits different players of different styles, some of you just want to get into the game and get through the game whereas others just want to have it leisure and you know have some conversation with friends, go to the toilet, get some snacks and stuff like that. So that's totally up to you and it's a personal preference. So another feedback that I got was that throwing the tiles to the center is a natural thing that we do and after a while it covers up the whole center module so you're gonna have to clear that away before raising up the platform. Not a huge deal but I thought it's something that you should take note of. Now last of all, one of the things that I felt um, could have been improved with this table although it might be a bit complicated but basically the 18 and 19 tile sides do not rotate which means uh, the 18 set of tiles always comes up on the same side and there's a very quick fix to that which is just moving two tiles from the 19 to the 18 side um, every time the round changes. So this isn't such a huge deal and I understand that there is a lot of complexities in um, getting the table to know whose turn is going to win and how the table is going to shift uh, but hopefully that's something that in the future can be developed uh, maybe leaving two tiles aside you know to push into the correct row when it's that person's turn I don't know but just some feedback on my side now of course let's talk about some of the pros of this table of course now you're gonna get a very perfectly straight rack of tiles every time you set it up this is especially fun for those people who don't really like the hassle of setting up all the tiles counting the number of uh, columns that you have and it makes the game a lot faster and a lot speedier so if you want to get through a game pretty quickly this is the best way to do it the other thing of course is the raising mechanism which looks really cool uh, this is the elevation model which means it just pushes the tiles upwards from the platform and there you have your rack of tiles now there is another version called the roller coaster one which some of you might feel is a bit more interesting but in my opinion i find the elevation one a lot more simple a lot easier to use and the tiles come out a lot straighter than the roller coaster one last but not least a huge reason why people get this table is going to be a definite talking point among your friends my friends actually came over for the first time to play mahjong they don't usually come over for mahjong but because I had this table, everyone's really interested and really excited about this. So it is definitely a talking point and it makes the game a bit more interesting. Um, it's definitely not going to make you play better, but it's going to be um, a bit more fun and adds an extra element to your gameplay. So like I said, I had a little surprise for one of the rounds in the game of Mahjong with my friends and that was to give this table away. Now I'm not a huge Mahjong player but they are so I thought one of them should win this table and uh, you know enjoy it. So here we go. Okay guys, next round whoever wins this gets this table. Huh? Oh my god really? Yes. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god. This is my favorite guy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, so congratulations to Yenny for winning the table. Um, I'm gonna have to lug it over there in my car or something like that. Um, but yes, hopefully she really enjoys this table and uh, I'm gonna head over there to play some games sooner or later. But yes, I hope this whole video has been informative for you guys. It's been a really fun experience uh, trying out this uh, new kind of playing style, this technology for, for fun and games. If you guys have any questions, do leave it in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. But I hope this has been an informative and insightful video for you guys. Do leave a like if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey, why change color? Wasn't it green? Let's take color. <laughs> <laughs> I love that reaction. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm only showing you halfway. We change color. <laughs> I got it on the audio was recording. <laughs> 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 Why change color? <laughs>